the Super Heavy Booster is the foundation of SpaceX's Starship system, providing the raw power needed to lift the world's largest and most ambitious spacecraft into orbit. It's the critical first step toward building a fully reusable transportation system for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Over its first nine launches, Super Heavy has proven that such a massive vehicle can work, but SpaceX is now preparing to take things further with the V3 version, a major upgrade designed to improve range, efficiency, and reusability. Here are some of the most important changes. One of the biggest and most visible upgrades is its increased height. The current Super Heavy stands about 70 meters tall, but V3 will stretch to about 80 meters. With Starship on top, the full stack could reach as high as 150 meters. This extra height comes mainly from longer fuel tanks. The main reason for making the rocket taller is to increase the amount of propellant it can hold, which addresses a key challenge in its performance. Right now, by the time stage separation happens around 90 kilometers up, most of Super Heavy's fuel is gone. That leaves very little for the complex boost back and landing maneuvers needed to catch it with the Mechazilla arms. Longer tanks mean more fuel, which improves both mission capability and recovery reliability. With more propellant, Super Heavy can carry heavier payloads to higher orbits, something especially useful for missions similar to what Falcon Heavy currently handles. It's also a key part of SpaceX's future orbital refueling system, where multiple starships will meet in space to transfer fuel. If Super Heavy can push a starship tanker further into orbit before separation, the tanker will have more fuel available for the actual transfer, making the whole process more efficient. The first V3 prototype Booster 18 is now being assembled, with sections already stacked at Starbase. When complete, it will be the first fully upgraded Super Heavy, setting the stage for a new phase of Starship operations. The second major upgrade involves a complete redesign of the fuel transfer tube system inside Super Heavy. This tube is a massive and crucial component, roughly the size of an entire Falcon 9 booster, running straight through the center of the rocket. Its job is to carry cryogenic methane fuel from the large storage tanks down to the 33 powerful Raptor engines that provide the thrust needed to lift the rocket off the ground and into space. SpaceX has confirmed that this new, larger transfer tube will improve the overall fuel flow system, allowing for faster and more reliable performance during critical flight moments, such as the booster's flip maneuver and restarting engines mid-flight. In previous flights, the flip maneuver after the stage separates was sometimes slow and unpredictable. This maneuver is when the booster turns around to prepare for its return to the landing site. When this flip takes longer or is less controlled, the rocket uses more fuel than ideal, reducing the amount left for the final landing burns. The upgraded fuel transfer tube will help Super Heavy complete this flip more quickly and with better control. It will also allow the booster to restart all 33 engines simultaneously if needed, which is crucial for safety and precision during the return and landing phases. This improvement is especially important during landing burns, where engines must provide quick, reliable thrust to slow the booster down for a safe touchdown. Because the V3 version of Super Heavy will use the newer and more powerful Raptor 3 engines, the fuel transfer tube has been made larger and strengthened. This extra reinforcement ensures it can safely handle the increased fuel flow and higher pressures generated by the more advanced engines. Overall, this upgraded transfer tube system marks a significant step forward in making Super Heavy more efficient, reliable, and ready for demanding future missions. Another major update is planned for the hot staging system, which plays an important role during stage separation. This system was first introduced on Starship Flight 2 to allow the upper stage, the Starship, to ignite its engines before fully detaching from the Super Heavy booster. This early engine start helps smooth the separation process and reduces stress on both stages. While this method has worked reasonably well, the current setup relies on a separate hot staging ring attached between the booster and Starship. This ring adds significant weight to the rocket, and because it's a detachable part, it must be discarded before the booster can be recovered and reused. This extra step adds complexity to the recovery process and increases costs. 
Additionally, the existing hot staging ring creates some technical issues. It can cause back pressure during engine ignition, which may affect engine performance. Also, the ring's short length allows hot engine exhaust to hit the booster's grid fins, potentially causing damage or wear. These factors limit the efficiency and durability of the system. To overcome these problems, SpaceX is developing a new design that integrates the hot staging section directly into the booster's main structure instead of using a separate ring. This approach is inspired by the Soviet N-1 rocket's design, which successfully incorporated integrated stage separation hardware. By embedding the hot staging system within the booster, the overall weight of the vehicle decreases because there is no longer a need for a detachable ring. This integration also eliminates the need to discard parts during recovery, simplifying the process and reducing costs. Moreover, building the hot staging system as part of the booster structure streamlines manufacturing and refurbishment. It removes one assembly step and makes the booster easier to maintain and reuse multiple times. The new design should lead to a lighter, more reliable, and more cost-effective booster capable of repeated launches, which is critical for SpaceX's goal of rapid, affordable access to space. Beyond structural changes, the hot staging system has also been optimized to improve engine performance and durability. The new design offers increased clearance for exhaust gases to escape more efficiently. This helps dissipate heat and pressure better during engine ignition, which reduces the risk of damage to both the Super Heavy booster and the Starship upper stage. The redesigned hot staging ring is longer than before providing improved protection for important components like the grid fins, which guide the booster during descent. This upgraded system marks a significant leap forward in efficiency, reliability, and ease of manufacturing. SpaceX is nearing completion of stacking the next booster, and recent internal updates suggest that the final form of this hot staging upgrade will be ready very soon. This improvement promises to simplify production, reduce maintenance times, and increase the booster's ability to withstand repeated flights. The fourth major upgrade focuses on the grid fins, the lattice-like structures that control Super Heavy's direction as it returns through the atmosphere. Over company talks in 2024 and 2025, SpaceX highlighted several design and functional changes to these fins. One of the most noticeable updates is their repositioning. On V3, and to some extent V2, the grid fins have been lowered compared to the original V1 design, while the latest V3 forward section images don't yet show the fins installed, mounting points confirm their new position. This relocation is purposeful. By lowering the grid fins, they are better protected from the intense heat and force of the engine exhaust during the hot staging process. Earlier flights showed some partial melting of the fins, which did not cause mission failure but raised concerns about long-term durability and reusability. Another significant change is the reduction in the number of grid fins from 4 to 3. These three fins are positioned at angles of 90, 90, and 180 degrees, breaking the usual symmetrical pattern. Initially, this raised questions about how it might affect control, but studies indicate that this asymmetric layout may improve flight dynamics. The small mass imbalance helps SpaceX achieve an actively controlled flip maneuver during descent, allowing for smoother and more precise handling. Additionally, the asymmetrical fins create uneven lift, which can reduce drag during re-entry, a known challenge in previous designs. This change also improves fuel efficiency during landing by allowing a higher angle of attack, helping the booster glide more effectively. During the Flight 9 landing attempt of Booster B-14, this need for better control was clearly demonstrated. Finally, spacing the grid fins farther apart improves precision when aligning the booster for capture by the Mechazilla arms. More room between fins means a larger margin for error during the complex catch sequence, increasing the likelihood of a successful damage-free recovery. The fifth and most powerful upgrade is the introduction of the new Raptor Vive 3 engines. This new generation of engines dramatically increases Super Heavy's thrust and overall performance. Official SpaceX data states that each Raptor 5 3 engine can produce about 280 tons of thrust at sea level. 
With 33 engines on the V3 booster, the total liftoff thrust reaches an astounding 9,240 tons. This level of power secures Super Heavy's status as the most powerful flying rocket stage ever built by humanity. But the improvements don't stop at raw power. The Raptor V3 engine design is simpler and more robust than previous versions. It eliminates many fragile and complex parts found in earlier Raptors, which makes it more reliable and easier to maintain. This simplification means the engines are less likely to fail under stress, speeding up manufacturing and refurbishment processes while lowering costs. One notable change is the removal of protective engine shrouds that covered the engine cluster on earlier boosters. This removal signals growing confidence in the durability and reliability of the Raptor V3 engines. The design overhaul supports SpaceX's goal of building a launch system capable of rapid reuse and frequent flights. Though Raptor 5-3 engines are still being tested, their integration into Booster 5-3 is progressing quickly. Soon, we can expect to see these powerful engines firing beneath the next-generation Super Heavy, pushing the limits of what reusable rockets can achieve. Thanks for watching.